If you ain't know, now you know, uh huh? Let me shoot some real quick. Follow me. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to the One Punch Man season two, episode ten, Justice on the Siege. Last episode was pretty boring because it was just Saitama that defeated Goketsu and we didn't see that fight and then he was just talking and talking and talking about him being bored with his strength and all that kind of stuff and then you have Spiro sound eating the monster fruit because he wants to defeat Saitama and I'm not that happy with that and uh yeah you have bong and his brother looking for gahu or oh, yeah there was an interaction between gahu and the uh, saitama <laughs> he was been to a wall and yeah so that was basically what happened last episode so let's check out this one <laughs> Well, at least that's something he won't get bored with because he keeps losing. <laughs> oh, are they getting a signal? Or is he sending a signal? Am oh, my mask? That's flashy flash over there. You haven't even seen them in such a long time. Even metal bat. Where that was that? This is a ploy. Don't trust it. No. I feel like the team that's gonna be assembling Why is he flexing? I hope you're tough enough. So that's the that was the plan all along. Is it what to eat it? He's dead. They didn't really know. You're gonna find his head. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's gonna think that King is the one that beat him. Death got him. Did he notice him? Ah, oh, he finally got his apple gaze. You haven't seen Channel's fight in how many episodes? Oh, Metal Bats in the hospital? No. What happened? No, remember when he had that fight with Garo? 
And then the monster gang? No. I pay attention, I just don't remember. Your mirror and I doesn't care about anything. How is he a hero? Mm. Ooh, two or three days, and that's when the heroes are assembling at the Monster Association head out. So he did notice him. Oh, Stinger. Have you seen it before apart from this episode? Huh? He's gonna read about the other the heroes that came. Blam blam. Ooh, that's I, I like that. I'm so sorry, kid. Cause he's gonna be like he's the one that was giving him information about the heroes that he killed. Fast is kind of cool. So there's no after credit scene after this. Okay. So what do you think of this episode? What happened? Hmm? What happened? <laughs> I said, what do you think of this episode? And what happened until the last uh, until the last minute? I know, right? Mm, uh, I, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that it happened until they got a root. Each time. Yeah. Each time there is a, like a, a commercial break, I try to write down some things that happen. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like this season is not up to par with number one. Yeah, at all. yeah. Season was so better. <sighs> they don't have to give up half of the West Side and struggle, honestly. Cause really, the main, t- the funny part is the. Emphasis of this show is not even really about one uh, Satama. It's the people around him. So yeah. it's like Because we don't see him that often. He yeah. shows up, does something. He, he do, when he shows up, we just know it matches over. So they're trying to build up the characters around him, like the other heroes around him. So it's like. And it's like there's so many heroes that yeah, you, you so can't. Like, at least if he was like we we're going through he- heroes like a few of them at a time like go on a journey with them instead of like every episode getting a new hero introduced like this episode we had the deaf 
Gatling, whatever. And it's like we've never, never seen it before. Even see his power. Oh yeah, he, he only had a sort of a, a Gatling gun mm-hmm. thing that he held. Like I don't know. And then I feel like a lot of things happens in the episodes that are not necessarily connected to the. I don't know that are just one offs, and I feel like we don't need those. Like remember the dude the the last episode the guy with the um. Uh, the gorilla. Yeah. And the guy that was following him. No, we don't even know what was the point. Yeah, you're right. Like, what was the point of that? You know what this, dude, this, you know what this reminded me of? What? Well, you think you never seen Game of Thrones? You know? Yeah. Yeah, but I said when it started getting closer to the end, mm-hmm. it was like the writing started. You could say the writing kind of went Dipped. down a little bit. Cause I've seen it, I'd be like. Oh, let me tell you, Game of Thrones final season finale is the worst season finale. Well, not the worst, but very disappointing. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that, even though I haven't seen. I'll tell people to watch all the way until the very before last episode. (laughs) So not to watch the finale. (laughs) What the heck? (laughs) That doesn't make sense. (sighs) Okay, yeah. So One Punch Man season two. Like, I I was so excited when it started, but I feel like my excitement is slowly but surely diminishing. Because clearly, like, when it started, I was thinking that Gal was going to be, like, this big, bad, you know. But then, with the few interactions of him and Saitama, you know, he's not going to do anything to Saitama. So, it's like, he's just going around killing all the other heroes and they're having the heroes trying to beat him up and stuff and then you have bung and his brother looking for him and they still haven't come upon him okay and then you have death gatling and the other heroes trying to capture him destroy him or something or other and so far he's you know um like he's still keeping up with all those heroes around him and he probably still will like he's gonna defeat them in the next episode or something so it's like I don't know and then I was wondering what the the monster association what their plan were and it's like they kidnap an executive son and they want the heroes to come to sort of try to rescue the kid and then they're gonna all the monsters are gonna beat them up and kill them and then they're gonna be like make the the world a uh, world of monsters with their little beam Orochi or whatever and I'm like that plan is stupid I don't care how many monsters you have there's plenty of heroes around as well and then there's Saitama there which I think they don't know about Saitama yet because they didn't know that uh what was his, his name Goketsu was defeated so there's that so their plan is not gonna go anywhere once Saitama comes into the picture there's that. Um, what else happened? Yeah, n- not a, mm-hmm. yeah, no, not a lot of stuff happened in this episode. Like these past two episodes have been pretty boring, apart from the fight between Gao and the heroes. That that is looking kind of cool, and yeah. <sighs> This show needs to pick up, like, I don't know, something needs to change. Because you have all these different threads going around that are still... Last episode, we saw uh, Spirit of Sonic eat the monster thing, and we maybe haven't seen him um, do anything. And then, what else? Some of the heroes are in the hospital, I guess. Are they going to come back into the picture? Who knows? Um... I feel like there's a lot of things going around. Like this, I feel like the show is trying to juggle way too many things, and it's not turning out right. At least in the first season, you just had Saitama. I don't know. Like he had a goal. At least in last ep- last uh, episode, last no, do I keep last season, which was to get into the Hero Association, and he did that, and then they defeated the big big monster or whatever at the end of last season. 
And then this season is like, what is his goal? Like, he doesn't have a goal this season. He's just walking around, getting bored all the time and stuff. Yeah, so something needs to change. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.